As Super Earth's greatest heroes fight to spread liberty to the far reaches of space in Helldivers 2, it has become clear that those vicious, freedom-hating robots known as automatons are a particularly tough challenge. We've put together these five crucial tips to help you turn those bots to scrap in the name of managed democracy. Unlike the Terminids who will come out at a steady stream from holes in the ground, most automatons are delivered via dropships. There's virtually no limit to how many can drop in, and that has to be factored in. Holding your position, especially on higher difficulties, is a losing proposition. Instead, speed and mobility should be at the centre of your tactics and planning. Aim to push straight to objectives and clear those as fast as possible, then immediately bail out and head for your next destination. If you are getting overrun, it may be worth leaving the area entirely. This gives you the option to draw the bots away while you circle back, or to move on to other tasks entirely until the heat dies down and you can finish the job. The automatons tend to arrive few in number and heavily armoured, so it's best to focus on weapons that hit hard and punch through defences. The SG-225 Breaker is a shotgun available early with light armour piercing and is a solid option. The autocannon and railguns are great as support weapons thanks to their mix of piercing and rate of fire, particularly against striders and devastators. The recoilless rifle won't give you as many shots, but is a strong choice against the massive hulk and tank units. You can also use it to take down dropships along with all the automatons inside with a well-placed shot to one of the engines. As cool as it looks to stand shoulder to shoulder with your fellow Helldivers in the name of managed democracy, that's not the best way to spread freedom to the automatons. While the smaller bots like the troopers and marauders will go down to your standard hail of gunfire, the rest of the robots are much more resistant to a frontal assault. They do however share something else in common, a glaring weak point in the back. Whether it's the exposed pilot on the Strider or the big glowing red vent on the Hulk, it is much faster and much safer to take down tough automatons from behind. That's where positioning comes into play. The bots won't stand idly by while you run circles around them, but by spreading your squad around, you force the enemy to pick a target in one direction, which exposes its weak point to the others. Whoever is drawing the attention should focus on using cover and dodging to stay alive, and if all goes well, the worst of the danger will be dealt with quickly, and everyone can turn their attention to cleaning up the rest of the enemy units. As tempting as defensive abilities like the shield generator relay may be, it's better to focus on stratagems that you can deploy quickly while you run and gun. The Eagle Strikes are good for this. They're versatile, capable of taking out groups, shutting down fabricators, and doing chunks of damage versus tough units. The rocket pods target the biggest enemy in their area of effect, which allows you to hit hard targets while you run for cover. And if worst comes to worst, the 500 kilogram bomb will clear a large area of pretty much anything, and rearms fast enough to be useful several times in a mission. This is particularly great if you want to take out a group of fabricators without risking getting stuck in a protracted gunfight. The Orbital Rail Cannon is another effective option for erasing individual strong enemies in an instant. If possible, you should try and have at least one person on your squad drop with the Orbital Laser. This Hammer of Dawn-like beam will sweep across the battlefield. It has a long cooldown and can only be deployed three times total by a single Helldiver, but it's perfect to get your team out of a tough spot and into cover as you wait for an extraction shuttle. Dropping a sentry turret to tear through your enemies while you take cover or work on objectives is great in theory, but you need to be careful with what you use and where versus the automatons. The machine gun and gatling gun sentries will aim and fire wherever the enemies are. If a dropship drops behind you, that sentry will turn and shoot, and they won't care if you're in the crossfire. Sentries are still worth bringing, however. The mortar sentry lobs explosives in a vertical arc, so as long as you aren't standing in the middle of a group of enemies, you shouldn't be caught in their blast. 
turrets that fire more slowly, like the rocket or autocannon sentries, are much less likely to hit your team, particularly if you position them on the front lines of a fight, rather than in the middle of your squad. If you're looking for more great stratagems, be sure to check out our 5 best stratagems to unlock early. You can find that and more in our expanding Helldivers 2 wiki. And for everything else gaming, keep your eyes on IGN.com.